Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial in Common Lisp. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be on functions in Common Lisp. So, um, to start off, um, basically the syntax for any function in pretty much any programming language. Um, don't quote me on that because I'm pretty sure there's like one language out there that's like completely different. But um, pretty much the syntax for any uh, normal programming language is uh, for a function is a keyword telling the interpreter that uh, we're declaring a function then the name of that function that we want to declare which could be literally anything you want it usually pertains to what the function does though then the parameters that you want for that function or pr single parameter doesn't matter how many and then uh, the line of code that we want the function to run or the lines of code um, so in Lisp uh, the way we're going to do this is we're going to have an opening parenthesis I'm going to hammer that into your brains. Every single line of code will be enclosed within parentheses. Uh, you will see an opening parenthesis at every, or at, least at the beginning of every program, no matter what program it is. Um, so after the opening parenthesis, you put the keyword, which in this case is defun, defun, which is define function. Then the name of the uh, function I want is just going to be add. Um, you can make it whatever you want, uh, but that's what I'm going to do. And then uh, we're going to open up a parenthesis, um, and we're going to put uh, the parameters we want in here. So I'm going to make my parameters a and b, and then a closing parenthesis. Then for the line of code or lines of code, depending on what uh, function you're creating, uh, you're going to do another opening parenthesis. And then in this case, I'm going to add the two together. So I'm going to do plus A and B. And then I need another ending parenthesis because I need to close off this parenthesis right here. Or else I'll do this. So go down the line and tell me I need to finish it off. But uh, I'll just put it there. So what this is going to do is it's going to define the function add with the parameters A and B that are, are required parameters. Then it's going to take whatever you put in for A, put it here, whatever you put in for B, put it there. It's going to add them together, and it's going to print the result out to the screen. So once we click Enter, it's going to tell us that the function add has been created, and uh, it's now in the temporary database. It's only a temporary database because um, as long as you have this window open, uh, you can call this function. But as soon as you exit out of this window and try and open up uh, the program again, it will no longer be accessible. So. Uh, the way you access this function is by typing its name, but then the way you access the parameters is a little little different than in most other uh, languages. Most languages you do a opening parenthesis then the parameters you want, um, but in this case all you do is a space, then uh, whatever you want for the pr first parameter, so I'll make mine five, then another space, and then whatever you want for the next parameter, and then ending ending parenthesis. Now, this is going to add 5 and 10 together, so we should get a result of 15. So I'm going to hit enter, and as I predicted, it gave me the answer of 15. I'll just give another, another example. Let's do 4 and 6. It should give us 10, yeah. So, um, that's basically my tutorial. Um, this is pretty basic uh, functions. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please comment, or, yeah, please state them in the comments or PM me. I also have an AIM account, which is CP Answer Man, um, if you want to talk to me on there. And uh, then the next tutorial will be how to uh, write a program outside of the interpreter and run it inside the interpreter. So, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later.